Hi guys, this is the Andrew Sapien. Today I have this Redmi 4A. We will start with this device. The first thing we need to do is to unlock its bootloader. I will guide you with the steps to unlock its bootloader. All the bootloader unlocking is a simple process but Xiaomi has made it really complicated. First need to get the permission to unlock the device. So head on to en.miui.com slash unlock. Here we have to apply for bootloader unlock permission. It's better if you do through your PC browser. Here you have to enter your name, your country code, your mobile number and the real reason to unlock the bootloader. Don't write any copied reason or you will get rejected. And please read all the risks of unlocking the device. I will not be responsible for any damage that happens to your device. After a week or two, you will receive the permission. If not, then apply again. You will receive a message granting permission. Here it is how I got it. After getting permission, again head back to the same web page. Now when you will sign in with your My account, you will be prompted to download the unlock tool. Download it and extract the zip file. Extract the zip file. Now we are done with the first step. The second step is setting up our device to unlock the bootloader. Now I expect that most of you must be on the stock global stable home that comes being stored on the device. Okay, the global stable home. Although Xiaomi claims so, but it is not possible to unlock the bootloader while you are on the global stable room. You need to be on the developer room to unlock the bootloader. Here I'll show you how to go to the developer room to unlock the bootloader. Go on the MIUI forum, click on this button downloads and search for your device. As soon as you find Redmi 4A, click on it. This is the device the ROM that we already have and we need this developer room. So download this zip file and keep it in the internal storage of the device. Next you have to do you have to go to the better app and then you have to click on this choose update package and select the zip file that you have downloaded, the developer room. Here it is. So take some time to first decrypt the update and then flash it. So be patient. I have skipped the part but it takes too much time. So after decrypting, after the decryption is 100%, the update would be flashed automatically. You just have to wait. This process would erase all your user data and personal data. So please make the backup of your apps and internal storage before flashing the developer room. Here it needs to confirm that if you want to erase and update the device. Click on erase and update. Please make a backup before doing all this. It would 
wipe the user data and the internal storage also. Now the device will be flashed and it would reboot. Be patient, don't panic if it takes too much time to reboot. This is normal. I'm just skipping that part. So after rebooting, you have to set up the device as you did it for the first time and sign in with the same MI account into the device from which you have got the permissions. Now we are on the developer room. This finishes our setting up the device. Next step is next and the final step is flashing or oh, bootloader unlocking this. But before that you have to turn on OEM unlock and USB debugging on your device. This is necessary. So go on the settings about phone and click on that MIUI version continuously. It will show you a now developer and go on the additional settings, developer options and turn on this OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Turn on both of them and here I'll show you my unlock status. See, it's showing that this device is locked. Now, the next next thing is to boot your device into the fast boot mode and connect it to the computer. To boot into fast boot mode, first turn off your device. After it is switched off, you have to press the power button and the volume down button simultaneously while turning it on. It would boot into the fast boot mode. Press them together and you will see this MI bunny on the screen written fast boot. Just connect it to your computer now. Let's see if it detects the device. showing that the device is connected let me show you that the bootloader is locked you don't have to do all this I'm just showing you that the bootloader is locked see here you can see that the device unlock is false that is the device is locked so let's unlock it this is the final thing we have to do this is the folder we extracted and click on am I flash unlock Please read the disclaimer before proceeding further. Agree to the terms and conditions and sign in with the same MI account that has permissions. After it verifies your account, you have to click on unlock. Keep your device connected to the computer, don't tamper with that. If you find any problem in this step, many people have problem that it's stuck on 50% or 90%, you can tell me in the comments, I'll help you. With After the device is unlocked, click on reboot phone and your device will be rebooted. That's what we have to do. You see that your a bootloader of your device would be unlocked now. 
after it boots up i'll show you that it is now locked see here the my unlock status showing that the device is unlocked thanks for watching guys stay tuned for routing custom recovery and custom rooms for the redmi 4 like and subscribe the channel thank you